Hi, hello guys and gals. Today I'm going to let you in on the one fact that everyone's overlooking that is going to spell the end for the gas lawnmower market. Okay, that's right. It, it is the gas, the gas versus electric battle. We're going to get lots of hate comments down below. People don't want to admit that this is coming, but we're going to show you the math and the math can't be argued with. Okay, this is the one fact that's killing gas. Now, each and every year, Houses, the size of houses gets bigger, whereas the size of your average lawn gets smaller. So the need for riding lawnmowers, zero turn mowers, all that kind of stuff, there's still people out there who need it, but 99% of Americans have a yard that is smaller than half an acre. Most have a, sm a yard that's smaller than a quarter acre, which means that in the future, it's going to be push mowers and walk behind mowers. So how is how's electric going to be gas? What's going to kill it? Well, Every single year, the price of electric gets cheaper. Battery tech keeps moving forward as we invent new and exciting ways to make batteries. What doesn't get invented is a new and exciting way to make gas. Gas is what gas is, and you're going to get as much power as it, as it comes. And every year, the price of gas goes up. Electricity is going down. Gas prices are going up. And there's nothing that's going to change that. Now, I stumbled across a video here by Saving Green. He's a small YouTube content creator. I'm going to put a link to his video down below. Please go check it out to share some of the love here on YouTube, okay? He did a cost comparison about gas versus electric. I thought he had some really good stuff to say. He even made a spreadsheet. I didn't really agree with the, the way the spreadsheet was laid out, so I kind of took his form factor and I made my own version of it. There'll be a link to this one. You can go check out his site or his page and go check out his spreadsheet as well, and you can do a comparison between the two. One of the things he included in his spreadsheet was the the emissions and how much emissions gas puts out. I don't want to put that on the table because I'm making an argument that has nothing to do with trying to go green. This has to do with personal economy and ease of use because, you know, at the end of the day, if you're doing this to go green, it doesn't matter what the cost is. If you can afford it, you're going to do it because you have something else that's pushing you forward. But let's look at the spreadsheet real quick. This is a basic Ego mower versus your general gas mower here. And we've got the yard size at a quarter acre, gallons per gas unleaded, kilowatt electricity on average. Now these are national averages. Your area may change. And again, this is a spreadsheet. You're feel free, feel free to open up and you can enter your own numbers in the in the green areas. You put in what you want it to, and you can come up with your own calculations. All right. Uh, and then we talk about the difference between a push a, a self-propelled and an electric and the cost per how much basically how much it costs you to every time you mow because batteries believe it or not a lot of people don't realize this batteries only have a limited lifetime you can only recharge a lithium ion battery so many times before it loses its capacity and just starts to die as such they're consumable so you need to factor that in is your cost batteries aren't free okay so they get factored in and basically what it comes down to once you cost factor in the cost of recharging those batteries and the cost of replacing that battery the cost per year is nearly identical you look at uh, a push mower is going to cost you $71.28 a year. And this is including all maintenance and everything else that goes along with it. And this is you doing the maintenance yourself, not going out and taking it to somebody else. A self-propelled is going to cost you $92. They use more gas and then such. They use more oil and stuff like that. And electric uh, is going to cost you about $72. That's basically a buck fifty thereabouts more per year to run electric over gas. And the main, the main reason for that is the cost of replacing those batteries. So, you know, if, also, if you want to do the spreadsheet yourself, I'm going to add this a link to this page down below. And this shows you how to calculate your kilowatt hours based on the amp hour of the battery, how much it's going to cost. So you can, it's a hard number to figure out on your own. So there's a calculator in there for that. But here's the thing with batteries, and this is the misnomer that everyone seems to keep forgetting. When this stuff first came out, the electric stuff was way more expensive just twice two or three times more expensive and the but the uh the argument was then that well you're paying for your gas up front because you're buying your batteries in advance and then you use those and as such that's why it's more expensive but here's the deal they're not more expensive anymore uh just case in point we're going to walk through five different comparisons this is the cheap we're on home depot i went to home depot largest hardware store in the u.s some of the best prices you're going to find anywhere this is the cheapest gas-powered lawnmower I could find. It's the Yardmax. 
uh, 21 inch 170 cc this is a two-in-one walk behind lawnmower with high rear wheels no features no self-propelled no there's there's not even a bag on this thing and it's costing you 251 dollars 250.99 okay now you would say well if, if you're going to buy the the electric version it's going to be substantially more expensive because you got to prepay for the batteries right no this is this is Greenworks. I could probably have found one cheaper, but I didn't want to take a long time doing this because Greenworks, 40 inch, 20, 20 inch brushless walk behind mower, uh, 40 amp hour battery, quick charger, $274. This is coming with the battery and you're essentially paying the same price. This has got a bag. That's, that's the real difference there. That 25 bucks is getting you a bag on it. Uh, you're going to get a, something that lasts pretty much just as long it's as easily as well known a name as yard max you're not getting a honda for 250 uh greenworks is actually one, probably the number one seller of outdoor power equipment in the u.s at least for lawnmowers they've been doing a great job of it they even oem their products to other brands you may see lawnmowers that look very similar to this by other colors uh, other companies but 274 dollars how can you argue $274 versus $250 for electric? Now, I know two other arguments are going to pop up right here. And the, the first argument is going to be, well, I can, I can uh, refill a gas mower faster than you can recharge a battery. That's true. But I can also swap batteries faster than you can refill a, a, a gas engine. That said, the other one is, well, I can just keep refilling this and I can mow an acre or two acres or three acres. That's true. You could do that without having to invest in more batteries and that kind of stuff that that is true but at that point who's mowing an acre with a mower like this no one no one's mowing. that's the wrong tool for the wrong job you're making the argument of using a hammer when you should be using a nail gun that's the reality of this situation is no one's using these these kind of mowers to mow an acre or two acres there might be somebody out there who's trying to be extremely frugal or something who's doing that but that's not the normal person the fact of the matter is that these mowers are scaled to the size that they're designed for this mower is designed to do a quarter to half an acre so is this mower and the battery that comes with it is designed to do that on a single charge as well this will do half an acre on a single charge. Let's keep going with this. We got the 21 inch Troy built running the Briggs and Stratton there, uh, 140 CC, and it's coming in at $350. You got the bag on it, everything else. Well, guess what? I can get you into a heart mower for this for 384, and this one is self propelled. All right. So again, we're we're we're, ga we're gaining features for a couple bucks more. I could and I could I could just as easily go back and 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 use the greenworks if i wanted to there but again and they're scaling these batteries to match what they're selling this as like a half acre mower is what this is is sold at so it'll do it'll do a, a quarter acre to a half acre there's there's no real reason why you would have to have a second battery so when people sit there and say well i can refill it yeah you can but i don't have to stop to refill i can finish the whole job on one charge now i'm 54 i've been mowing yards since I was a, a wee lad, and I remember constantly that I had to often refill the uh, the tank when I finished with the front yard. I often had to refill the tank to do the backyard. Uh, never had to do that with electric because it just does the whole yard. I, I don't really understand the argument people are trying to make there. If you want to go up, we got the Honda for five fifty. This is an excellent gas mower. This is solid as a rock. Uh, it's got the auto choke, which electric doesn't need. Uh, it's got the bag and everything else. But you know what? I can pick up this Ryobi. And this is coming with two batteries. This will easily do an acre to two acres if you needed to, but nobody wants to do it. It's self-propelled. It's got everything you possibly need on it. Uh, it's made in the USA with global components. Uh, you know, and it, it's going to do everything that Honda is going to do at the same price, essentially. Now, that's not a sale price there, or maybe it is a sale price. I think actually it's save $100. So, I mean, you're, you're spending $50 more on that. How about this? We've got the Toro. Can't argue with Toro. Toro is the number one selling gas mower in the U.S. America's number one walk behind mower brand, and Toro sells gas. And, and you know that's that's what they do. I mean, look at this. We're looking at seven hundred ninety nine dollars. It's a nearly top of the line Toro. Who could compete with Toro except for maybe Toro? It was the same mower, but an electric sixty volt max flex force system for fifty dollars less. 
Toro gets it. Toro understands that this is the way things are going, okay? And the top of the line, you could get the top of the line Toro. It's $900. You can get the top of the line Ego. We can go on and on with this kind of comparison. The fact of the matter is that you're not, and this is actually what people are missing. You're not just prepaying when you buy this because they're the same price. You're essentially getting those batteries for free. Think about this. If we go back to that first one and we look at this, $250 but you have to buy the gas. $274, but the gas comes with it. So when, you, when you're making that payment in your mind every month, what it's gonna cost you to replace those batteries, that's for the next set. You're getting essentially a $200 uh, you know, free, if, free fuel for the next three years. And by the way, when I did this formula, I figured this out based on the warranty of the batteries, not uh, not based on what I expect them to go for, but but basically how they're how long they're warranted for, so you know they're going to last that long. And we've got uh, we've got matches here for or versions here for Heart, for Greenworks, and even for a Ryobi Zero Turn if you wanted to throw that in there. And clearly, you can see there uh, the cost three seventy two. And that's what I'm saying. The riding mowers they're not anywhere near as far as cost efficient. But if you look at all these, you look at the Greenworks. $51 a year versus $71.28 for gas. The Heart's coming in at $79, a bit more. Uh, the Ego's coming in at $72. Again, they're, they're giving you, at this point, we're no longer, we're past that point of you're prepaying for the fuel. At this point, you're getting the fuel for free. And let's see, I believe the Ego's a five-year warranty. The Heart, I believe, is a four-year warranty. Greenworks, I think, is three. Ryobi, I think, is three as well. Uh, but, you know, and here's the other thing you need to consider. There's other benefits as well. Electric mowers are way quieter. They just are. They they are a dream to use. If you've sat there and you've damaged your hearing like I have over the years, uh, I would not recommend anybody be using gas if hearing is an issue for you, unless you're wearing hearing protection. Now you got to walk around with headphones on or whatever. Even the CDC talks about it. It's important. Uh, how about maintenance? Gas stabilizer, oil, spark plugs, air filter. Those are things you don't have to worry about with electric. You just press the button and go. Uh, who loves pull starting mowers? I don't. I'm not a big fan of it, especially at the beginning of the year. You got to do the prep to get the thing ready to go for the season. That's just a pain. Why even bother? You know, with electric, you take it off the wall. Can't do that with most gas mowers unless you drain all the fluids out of it. They're super light, especially if you take, once you take the batteries out, that's the nice thing. You can take the batteries out separately and then you can pick up one of these. I can pick up that mower there with one hand. My kids can pick it up with ease. They take, pick it up, put it in the back of the truck. It's, it's a no brainer. Okay, so the difference between gas and electric, there's a lot of them. They're, they're, they're ease of use, there's, there's cost to use, there, there's you know the weight, there's storage. But at the end of the day, you're getting free power. They're, they're literally giving you the batteries for free when you buy the mower at this point. It's not even an, an honest comparison. And, and I know someone's going to pop up, but what about parts? What about parts? If you're buying a good solid name brand mower, parts are going to be available. Every once in a while, you're going to run into an issue where parts aren't available. This was the mower I was originally going to use for the, uh, I'd set up this video yesterday, and this was the one I was going to use. I sat down this morning, refreshed the page, discontinued. It's gone. Parts and, and, and mowers, th this happens to everything. There's no, there's no company out there that doesn't have some issue where you go to look for a part and it's hard to find. That's just a random thing. You look at other stuff, there's parts everywhere. You're doing just fine with it. So the whole argument about like you can't get parts. If you're buying a no-name brand, th th that's more likely to happen. But even if you buy a Honda, there's a chance that you go to get a part and it's just not available. Or it's weeks, if not months out to get it. It's on back order and you don't know when it's going to come in. That happens. I've looked across the board on all of these and you can find examples everywhere. So at the end of the day, do a little cost comparison and see what I'm talking about because the, that's the secret that you're getting the batteries for free. Go and do, use this chart. There's a link down below. Also go and check out, uh, what was it? Go and check out uh, Saving Green here. Check out his channel. Give him some love as well. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.